The purpose of this video is to estimate the power associated with a correlation analysis. The example I'm going to use here is the psychotherapy experience and rate of improvement amongst clinical psychologists. The correlation was estimated at 0.118 and the correlation was found to be non-significant statistically. And so the question that is useful to answer here, because the sample size was only 40, is what were the chances of having rejected the novel hypothesis if it were in fact false? And so to do that, I've created some syntax that can be copied and pasted into SPSS. This is what it looks like. You can drag that straight out of the textbook and open a new file, which is a syntax file and just paste that in there. Now I also have to add the correlation and the sample size which are specified as R and N. So R and you can put it whatever direction you want. It could be sample size first and then correlation. In this case here we have a correlation of 0.118 and a sample size of 40. Then if I run the syntax it should estimate the power. And it does so by creating a new variable called power, and the power was estimated at 0 0.106. Therefore, there wasn't a very high probability of rejecting the null hypothesis in this study based on 40 clinical psychologists, because the power was only estimated at 0 0.106, or 11%. So there was only 11% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis which is much further than the recommended 80% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis. So a sample size much larger than 40 would have been required if the correlation is 0.12 in the population.